Hello. Probably you've seen a lot of digital editions on the internet, like maybe this one, the uh, Petrus Plowel commentary, um, which has lots of interesting uh, interactive features and uh, the possibility to visualize the variants of the text. Or you have seen at the Shelley Gooden archive, where the editors have distinguished between the hands of Mary Shelley and Pierce Shelley to see who wrote what in the composition of Frankenstein. Or maybe something quite different. Um, uh, the Base de Français Médiéval, a database of medieval French language, where you can not only see the transcription uh, of, of medieval uh, texts, but also um, have lists of, their, uh, of the occurrences of medieval words and with their morphosyntactic uh, forms. Or in the Samuel Beckett Digital Manuscript Edition, where you can see each sentence of each work of Beckett in French or in English from the very first stage to the last version of it compared to each other in an automatic way. Hi, my name is Elena Pirazzo, and I'm Professor of Italian Studies and Digital Humanities at the University of Grenoble Alp, and I'm a modernist. My name is Marjorie Burkhardt, and I'm a, a CNRS uh, Research Fellow in Lyon, and I'm a medievalist. But we still talk to each other. Yeah, we get along quite well, don't we? Yes. Okay. So, uh, to come back to the digital editions, what do they have in common? They have in common the fact that they're based on the same technology, which is TI, the Text Encoding Initiative, and the XML language. During this MOOC, you will learn to master XML, TI, and to produce those editions, critical edition, facsimile edition, and to visualize your data for different publics. So welcome to the MOOC. We look forward to meeting you and hearing from your projects on this MOOC.